this is uh, frequency shift keying that is communication kit frequency shift keying is used for representing the data which is digital data to represent in the vari uh, variation of the frequencies that is with the help of high frequency and low frequency how the data is represented like that so here we have given one power supply to the kit here you can give the power supply have connected cro that is two probes here which wherein we are going to show the input for this probe and the output all the uh, different types of output we will see at this probe of this channel so let's start the connection so this is a data generator wherein you can set the data with this switch that is if you are going to keep this switch as up it is 1 if it is down it is 0 like this we have we uh, kept the data as 10101010 okay and here there is a switch to reset the data if you are going to change this data just change the data with the help of changing the switches and press this switch so that the data generator will set the data here this is a carrier generator wherein uh, inbuilt there is a low frequency carrier and high frequency carrier which we are going to give to the modulator circuit this is a modulator circuit which is going to modulate the digital data into the low frequency and high frequency signals so we will connect this high frequency signal as a carrier signal to this high frequency carrier signal then low frequency signal to the carrier loop this is our carrier signal then we will put this data which we are going to input to the data input so here we get the connection for the modulated circuit now you can just see the output of CRO so here we will connect the probes connection which is we have connected to the channel 2 that is input so you can just see the uh, input here 1010 so now we can just check for the carrier high frequency here you can see the carrier high frequency which we are going to set this is low frequency now we have given this to the modulated circuit so here you can just see the modulated output you can just compare the modulated output where there is one you will get high frequency where there is zero you will get the low frequency here you can see where there is a zero So here you can just see uh, where there is a zero you will get the low frequency where there is one you will get the high frequency signal now what you can do is so now we got the modulated output this modulated output we have to give it to the demodulator which will be connected at the destination side so that to get our original signal now you can just remove this connection of the modulated one and connect it to the demodulator so you can see here that whatever you have inputted the same similar type of a data you are getting as a output so this is channel 1 which is in channel 2 1 which is input this is channel 1 which is the output so whatever data is transmitted from the transmitter side it is originally received to the receiver side after modulating and demodulating in uh, with the data input as 1010 like this now we can change the data as 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 0. and after setting this data just press this switch so that it will reset the data now you can check the modulated output first similarly see where there is a 0 you can see the low frequency for that particular time period and where is there is one you will get a high frequency signal and similarly you can just check for the output which is outputted by the demodulator circuit so 
थँक्यू